Surfing has been a big part of my life for a long time and with surfing you can't really predict what the outcome is going to be as, you, as you're out there sitting in the ocean. Every wave is different and it's really just energy moving through water and you respond to that energy with your own reaction and I, I like to think that I actually am painting just energy. I'm reacting to the structure of forms and shapes. I do paint live. I never know who's going to walk through the door. I never really know what the music's going to be like or how that scene is going to feel until I'm there painting. And then I have no choice really but to react to the, to the energy of the environment. Painting live in front of you know, the amount of people that were here on that first day at lunch and the amount of focus that comes into the room and you know, being a client like Facebook definitely added some pressure. It really started out just as a basic color combination that I would feel satisfied with, basically the fade from, from green to yellow and then breaking it up with a roller. And then about halfway through the process someone suggested that I use the Facebook theme hack and it already had elements of that word in there so I would then continued to develop those letter structures. I'm influenced by graffiti so the real dynamic line structures of graffiti and, and the continuous smooth flowing lines are, are definitely things that I like to, to use in my work. There's certain instances where I'm painting a large mural and I, I don't even think or see my hand dipping in the paint. I just see the paint applying to the wall as I walk by it and that's a really interesting place to be. Real artists don't, don't have a choice, I don't believe. Uh, you, you either put it off for a certain amount of time and then you just take that leap of faith and you start to starve, but I think that you know most of the artists in history didn't, couldn't do anything but their work because that's what drives you.